फ्रेंड्स माय नेम इज अनिल कुमार सिंह इन दिस वीडियो आई विल आई विल एक्सप्लेन हाउ टू कन्वर्ट टाइम डोमेन सिग्नल टू फ्रीक्वेंसी डोमेन सिग्नल यूजिंग मेटल इन अर्लियर वीडियो आई हैव एक्सप्लेन्ड अबाउट हाउ टू जनरेट द साइन सिग्नल कोसाइन सिग्नल एंड मिक्स्ड सिग्नल नाउ इन दिस वीडियो आई विल कन्वर्ट दिस टाइम डोमेन सिग्नल टू फ्रीक्वेंसी डोमेन सिग्नल ओके सो फर्स्ट आई विल ओपन द मेटलब एप्लीकेशन जस्ट राइट क्लिक राइट क्लिक ऑन मेटलब एंड ओपन इट it will take little time okay just go to the matlab design directory this is my uh, current directory and in this uh, in this directory i have already generate i have already created sinusoidal sign signal generation dot m file in the previous lecture okay in this video i will convert this time domain signal to frequency domain signal okay so here just i am taking the frequency 1 hertz and 20 hertz already i explained in the previous video if you have not watched please go through the first video then watch this video okay so this one is the uh, time domain signal just i am uh, simulating it and see the time domain window okay see there are two signal one having frequency of 1 hertz and one is one one having frequency of 20 hertz okay so in one second in one second there are 20 cycles of signal x2 and signal x1 this this one is the x1 signal x1 signal having frequency 1 hertz it means in one second only one cycle see this is one cycle and x2 x2 is having 20 cycle in one second this is a 0 to 1 second so there are 20 cycle these two signal are added and i have plotted yt okay this is the time domain signal now i will convert this into frequency domain signal and we can clearly see what are the frequency in this mixed signal okay so just i will uncomment this uh, 50 code plotting of solid frequency on x axis and magnitude of dft on y axis okay so i have uh, I, I am taking a fifty point of one zero two four, okay, and uh, I am doing the fifty of yt. Yt means mixed signal. And pass uh, this is the fifty function. This is the MATLAB fifty function. In this MATLAB fifty function, I am passing mixed signal yt as well as how many point, how many of fifty point. Here one zero two four. So I am pa I am passing a fifty point of one zero two four. it will perform a 50 so whatever the 50 output i am shifting it by a 50 point by 2 it means 5 12 point i am shifting then i am assigning to y2 variable okay and uh, this is the y level now what will be the x level a 50 plot is basically magnitude versus frequency so x axis will be frequency so what will be the frequency value in the x axis this one f is into minus nf50 by 2 to nf50 by 2 minus 1 okay it means 
we have shifted 512 point left so minus 512 to plus 511 okay this will be the FFT point and each point represent one frequency okay so this x axis will be frequency value now plot subplot subplot 2 comma 1 comma 2 it means there are two row one column and second second uh, waveform this one is subplot uh, subplot 2 comma 1 comma 1 it means there are two row one column and first waveform first waveform will be time domain signal your second waveform means FF, uh, frequency domain signal so title i have mentioned here double sided fft x level i have titled as sample point and y level titled as magnitude of dft similarly in time domain x level titled as time y level titled as amplitude and the signal name is sign, sign signal we can mix uh, we can write here mixed signal m i x e d mixed sine wave okay just i am running this uh, matlab code and see what will be the output see just expand it maximize it see this is the original time domain signal having this uh, signal having there are two frequency one is one hertz and one is 20 hertz okay so both signal were added to generate this mixed signal okay so what are the signal what are the frequency in this signal we can exactly we can see in the FFT frequency domain so this is the FFT plot frequency domain signal okay just maximize it just zoom it to see it see here frequency win is 20 it means this frequency is 20 hertz your frequency win is 1 just again zoom it to see exact value what is see here 1 it means there are two frequency 1 hertz frequency and 20 hertz frequency we can clearly see in the frequency domain okay We can maximize and minimize by this maximize tool and minimize tool. Just I am maximizing little. Okay. So this this one is one hertz. This one is twenty hertz. And because of signal is real signal, so FFT is symmetric. Whatever this uh, above zero, whatever the frequency that will be mirror image to negative side because of signal is real if input signal is complex in the, if input signal is complex output will be unsymmetric only only above zero we uh, we can see in the frequency domain okay thank you so much for watching my video